Picture a calm afternoon on a cruise ship during your well-deserved vacation. Suddenly, you notice a bunch of pirates coming towards your ship. No, this isn't a scene from Hollywood. It's a spine-chilling reality faced by over 2720 passengers on board. What did these pirates want from the cruise ship? Did the passengers and crew survive? The attack started at the coast of Somalia, where a group of pirates in speedboats raced toward a cruise ship with the intention of hijacking the vessel, its crew, and passengers in exchange for a hefty price. Like hungry vultures circling around their prey, about 8 to 13 speedboats were zigzagging in front of the massive cruise ship, which weighed 102,000 tons and stretched 273 meters long. Their mission was simple, slow down the mighty ship and board it. It was a classic cat and mouse game on the high seas. When we think of pirates, our minds often wander to fictional characters like Jack Sparrow or the pirates of Penzance, however, these pirates are far from that. Their weapons of choice are not swashbuckling swords, but deadly AK-47S, a stark reminder of the harsh reality that modern piracy has become. Gone are the days of wooden ships and skull and crossbones flags. Today's pirates are young, determined, and armed to the teeth, existing in a world where survival means making brutal choices and weathering relentless storms, both literal and metaphorical. Labeling them as mere opportunistic mercenaries seeking treasures would be an oversimplification. They are driven not just by the lust for treasures, but also by desperation, poverty, and a longing for a better life. You might think of pirates and think they might be a group of thugs in Somalia Island, and nothing more but the harsh reality is that there is a whole industry behind this. As of 2019, there were approximately 72 pirate groups operating as if they were bona fide maritime companies. Did you know that these groups functioned almost like publicly traded companies? Investors, with pockets deeper than the Mariana Trench, would throw their money into the dangerous waters of piracy, or even equip these pirates with guns and gear. What were they expecting in return? The promise of substantial returns in the event of a successful hijacking. What the pirates receive for their daredevil efforts is a meager sum, a tiny amount compared to the high-stakes world of piracy. Just imagine, they'd get somewhere between $30,000 to $75,000 for a job well done. And for those who came equipped with their own ladder and gun, they might score an additional $10,000 as a sort of bonus allowance. While this money held significant value in a place like Somalia, it pales in comparison to the millions paid in ransoms. The risk of a cruise ship being attacked or hijacked by pirates is generally low because pirates primarily target cargo ships due to their valuable cargo and small crews. While pirates have attacked various types of vessels, incidents involving cruise ships are relatively rare. Cruise ships employ various tactics to protect themselves from pirate attacks, utilizing both defensive and offensive strategies. Defensive strategies focus on minimizing the chances of pirates successfully capturing the ship. But what happens when the defensive crew needs to take a more aggressive stance? At the lower end of the scale, the captain may employ evasive maneuvers like zigzagging or increasing speed to outrun the pirates. High-pressure hoses are also prepared to deter attackers by knocking them off their ladders. But wait, there's more. For those pirates who just won't take a hint, cruise ships bring out the big sonic boom with their long-range acoustic devices. These gadgets send out waves that can make your ears wish they were on vacation somewhere else. And when things get really dicey, the cruise ship's secret weapon comes into play. That's right, some cruise ships might have a team of snipers on board, lurking in the shadows, dressed all ninja-style in black and armed with some serious firepower. After all this, you might be wondering what happened to this ship that was under attack by pirates. Thankfully, the situation was resolved without any harm. The Australian passengers on board, embodying the Anzac spirit, were prepared to defend themselves by throwing bread rolls if necessary. However, their assistance wasn't required in the end. The captain took swift action by accelerating the ship, forcing the pirates to retreat. Although the cruise liner and most of the crew didn't officially acknowledge the incident, one crew member did confirm its occurrence. After hearing about this attack, do you dare to step aboard a cruise ship again? Leave a comment.